250 million years ago, huge insects called griffin flies lived on our planet. They were dragonfly-like bugs with a wingspan of nearly 2.5 feet across. Thankfully, they went extinct a long time ago at the end of the Paleozoic era, and today's insects don't grow quite as large. But there are nevertheless large enough insects that even the sight of one can send a shiver down people's spines. From crickets the size of your hand to beetles that can snap through pencils, today we are inspecting five giant insects currently living. Giant Chinese Stick Insect In 2014, Chinese entomologist Zhao Li was carrying out a field inspection in a mountain forest in the southern part of China. In the middle of the night, he spotted a long, black shadow on the road. First, he thought it was a long tree branch, but as he looked closely, the shadow was moving against the wind. It was a giant stick insect, and at that moment, Zhao Li had found the world's longest insect. The species was named after Zhao, and can measure a whopping 62 centimeters in length, which is the same as 24 inches. That's the same length as a human arm. The giant Chinese stick insect currently holds the world record for the longest insect out of the 800,000 species of insects that have been discovered by humans. Giant Weta Endemic to New Zealand, giant Weetas are enormous bugs that are related to crickets. They sort of look like enhanced crickets, which is quite unsettling. The largest giant Weetas can weigh 70 grams, or about 2.5 ounces, making them among the heaviest insects in the world. They can weigh more than a sparrow. Because of their massive weight, they can't fly or jump like other crickets. Despite its fearsome appearance, the giant Weta is a gentle and inoffensive creature. It doesn't sting and isn't poisonous, but it sure has a scary appearance. The species is actually called Witanga in Maori, which means God of Ugly Things. Usually, they are found in caves and burrows. Note to self, don't go into a cave when in New Zealand. Tarantula Hawk This one is a mean bug you wouldn't want to encounter. The tarantula hawk is an enormous wasp with the most painful sting in the world. They are so large and ferocious that they are capable of hunting and feeding on tarantulas larger than themselves. They don't eat the spiders, but hunt them as food for their larvae. They can reach two inches in length, and their stinger can be as long as a third of an inch. Their legs have hooks on the ends, which they use to latch onto tarantulas to pierce the victim and inject venom that permanently paralyzes the spider. Then, the wasp drags the paralyzed spider to its nest, where its offspring begins feasting on the body. It's understandable that spiders will usually try to flee or avoid tarantula hawks at all cost. These insects are found across South and Central America, and in the Southern United States. If you ever see one, don't harass them. They aren't deadly for humans, but if stung by one, an excruciating pain will last for five minutes. The tarantula hawk has been awarded second place on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index, beaten only by the South American bullet ant. Titan Beetle Have you ever held a beetle that was as large as your hand? Time to meet the Titan Beetle! This beetle is among the world's biggest insects and is the largest beetle on Earth, growing up to 6.5 inches long, the same as 16 centimeters. Amazingly, Titan beetle adults do not eat anything. Even though they are large and capable of flight and movement, they do not seem to need any nourishment in their adult phase of their lives. Still, make sure you don't get bitten. It can seriously hurt. Atlas Moth The fifth insect on the list is less creepy in many people's opinion. It's the Atlas Moth, one of the largest moths in the world, with a wingspan measuring up to 24 centimeters which is the same as 9.4 inches. That's the size of two human hands. It's widely distributed in Southeast Asia and are primarily found in tropical and subtropical rainforests. An interesting fact about the Atlas moth is that it can disguise itself as a snake. The upper side of the wings are reddish brown with a pattern of black, and both forewings have a prominent extension at the tip with markings that resemble the head of a snake. Here's a photo where the moth looks like a snake, 
or perhaps multiple angry snakes hanging from a tree branch. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more content from us in the future.